Hi David. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. This is Mr. Bloor. Lead on. We're get, yeah, we're going to walk. This is where my wobbly camera work comes into play. Have you not got a steady cam? No, I no, a, I haven't. I haven't got anything like that. Dollies. Gimbals. Gimbals. Ah, gimbals. Just to, just strap yourself to an office chair. Or <laughs> Here we go. Look. Whoa. Subterranean. Not subterranean yet, but nearly. Street level. This is the exhibition space at APT. Yeah. Very nice acoustics. Nice free This is it. This is where David works. Jesus Christ, what a mess. Look at, that. Look at the state of it. It's, it's called chaos theory. I, I, I don't think, if I tidy up, then I'll forget where I put stuff. Basically, I spend most of my time trying to find stuff. So I don't know, I don't know if it works. As a theory, it seems okay, but in practice, it's, it needs a bit of work. He hasn't washed up his coffee cups yet. I have, yet. That, but those are clean. This, oh, I, I, I withdraw my remark. <laughs> so look, 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 this is where he, this is what, what is he doing in this place? Can you hear that? I can. <laughs> it's alive. <laughs> it's, it's, at the moment, it's kind of playing itself without much intervention, which I kind of like. But when I actually perform with it, I do sort of break things out, so... I can, you know, I can fiddle a joystick and change stuff. Or just change things with switches. Yeah. Um, and then there's this, of course, I, just, I can just press one of 16 buttons and something will happen. For smaller gigs, I, sometimes I just take that. What is that? Which is uh, an old uh, Nord Micromodular. Yeah. Which is basically that. <laughs> but like that. And then and then Seriously. I, well it can be. Yeah, and I, I just control this with a like a MIDI fader bank thing. Yeah. Um and the nice thing about this is that that's kind of one patch. So that could be like one preset on here. Yeah. And then I could completely repatch that to sound different. Oh I see. And then I could technically do that so but just by going up a program yeah so there's a sort of organic quality to it a, a kind of um yeah making a machine have a random kind of aspect to it is can be tricky you know and i know you you, you modulate it and fiddle with it while, while it's playing but it's fascinating to have something that's almost generative like that, you know. Yeah, I, I, I've never, I've never been one for sequencing stuff. So there's no sequences in here. So most, most sequences in you are at this kind of format of synthesizer. Um, they're just great big old lumps. Yeah. And I'd, I'd, I'd rather have things that make interesting sounds than. A lot of your stuff is about, you know, chance and. Random kind of yeah, like, yeah. Okay. I kind of that's what that's what kind of interested me about this way of making sound as opposed to you know playing an instrument um, because you're not fully in control of it sometimes and also it it there's there's like there's like over a hundred knobs on here and and when you hit those knobs in the right p position and give it the right amount of modulation you're like what the f is that <laughs> so it makes it uh, performing with it quite interesting because you know you can hit that spot where the thing just sounds like a flute yeah and you can spend the whole gig just trying to hit that spot you might never get it yeah. but it's almost like <laughs> when you get it it's like whoa what's that <laughs> Let's see if I can find the fader for it, because <laughs> you've got this uh, crazy problem where you yeah half, half, half the instrument is obscured by the yeah, wiring. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what 
that's one of the drawbacks. If you had to design it yourself and build it yourself, you'd probably take some really smart design choices. Like, it mm. seems to make sense to have knobs on the top and jacks on the bottom. So if you had your, all your jacks in a row, the cables would be out the way and then you could just get to all your knobs. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me about the music, yeah, if you call it music, the sound that you're making. What sort of sounds do you like? I mean, what, what, what is it that you're, you're trying to create? Yeah. I suppose a lot of it's based on physical modelling. You know, as kids we were never allowed to play instruments because my dad worked night work. So there was, there was always that desire to kind of uh, play a musical instrument. And then, before I got the chance of playing a musical instrument, I got into electronics. There must be sounds that you prefer. I'm trying to think about what sort of music you listen to, what sort of genre you consider yourself in. You know, I mean, you're not making big soundtracky thing with lush chords, are you? No, I, don't, I tend to steer away from lush chords. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose I like short plucky things, and I like the interaction of uh, one short plucky thing against another short yeah. plucky thing. Yeah. I can kind of nuance that so those short plucky things can become sort of blown, overblown things. Yeah, you can sense a sort of uh, environmental influence, you know, kind of um, insects and birds and stuff. It's got a delicate quality to it. Uh, I hope so, yeah. I think if you go back to ancestry, I'm definitely Northern Hemisphere. Um, you know, I've, I, I, the going on. I like the way you try to define your music and you're saying, well, it's a bit Northern Hemisphere. <laughs> well, that's how I feel, yeah. It's like if, if, uh, if someone said, oh, you can go anywhere in the world you'd like, well, where would you like to go? The last place would be a beach or a hot com country or, or a jungle. You know, a jungle, God, no. It would be Northern Hemisphere. It would definitely be somewhere really f yeah. cold. Or, you is, know, that, is that because, yeah, maybe some of the origins of this kind of music, music concrete, um, electronic music, early music, is, it, is European, isn't it? it can, yeah, 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 in yeah. the loose sense. Of yeah. Obviously there are people working on, on electronic pieces in South America, mm. but we, the, the ones we all know about, the yeah, Pierre Henri and Schaefer, yeah, yeah. They, they tend to be European artists. Yeah, I like Javanese gamelan and I like, um, you know, I can't even pronounce it, the, the Japanese bamboo flutes, I think those sound amazing. Yeah. And uh, when you look, about, look at those instruments, those instruments were designed, certainly the bamboo flute was designed to mimic the sound of the wind whistling through the bamboo, maybe. Hmm. Kind of sounds like it's got an organic origin rather than a, you know, theoretic music. Origin. Yeah. Oh, it's creeping now. Oh yeah, something's just happened. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was my. I thought that was my phone. I mean, to sound like a, <laughs> to sound like a ringtone would be heaven. No. In terms of free improvisation, I much rather play with other people than play on my own. Well, this is what I was going um, to ask you about yeah. next. It's like because you know I would describe you know, where I've seen you play the context. Is free improvisation yeah. groups, small ensembles of people. Yeah. You know, um, small, uh, obviously small audiences, you know, in London, you know. Always. <laughs> <laughs> I've always kind of loved it, and I, it's more real to me than, than just sitting here and making music. I mean, a lot of the stuff is like, I'll build a patch and then think, well, you know, how would someone respond to it? Yeah. Not the call and response, but the the conversation, as it were. It's a bit like a conversation, but I always thought that I was, you know, when you're sitting on the bus late at night and you're the only person on the top deck, yeah. and then you see the mad guy come up the stairs and you know that he's going to sit right next to you and he's going to want to engage in conversation. 
It's like how you deal with that situation is a bit like free improvisation. But the more I thought about it, the more I realised that maybe I'm the mad guy coming up the stairs. <laughs> and of course, the other thing we, we should just briefly touch on is that you, know, you exhibit with visual artists. You, 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 do, yeah, do, you do sound pieces. And I think, yeah, I, you know, I've talked about this with lots of people. And, yeah, this kind of marriage of visual art with with sound is a really tricky business, and and, yeah. and your stuff seems to have solid concepts. Yeah, that's the way you, you need that. It seems to me that you need to deal with it. You need to a, an all encompassing concept that encompasses the, the visual and the sonic. You know, at the same time. And yeah, I think you, your work manages to do that. Yeah, I, I hope so. I mean, that's what I kind of strive to. Like. Thinking about it in a, as a generally as a, a genre, sound art is is if it's not kinetic, if it's not something that's moving and producing the sound, you've immediately got a problem. It, it needs rethinking before you can sort of um, have an integrated concept. You know, somehow. I'd much rather that people use the word art because mm. art kind of covers it. Yeah, sound art is just like well, yeah. You know, you've got sculpture, you've got paintings, you've got video, you've got sound, you've got loads of different strands of art. So yeah. art seems to cover it all. But yeah, I think in um, I think I, I kind of get the impression that sound art was a was a thing invented by universities to sell <laughs> another course <laughs> to the punters. Oh, I'm not yeah. a musician. What am I going to do? I can't join the music. Uh, class. <laughs> oh, there's a sound art class. I could join that. I mean, when I, when I when I was I was made redundant in 2015, and I thought oh, I'm going to go off and do a do a course. And actually, yeah, the sound art MA at, at, at UAL. I I thought, oh my God, they've written a course for me. <laughs> <laughs> but but you know, years later, I think it's just art. You know. Yeah, I'm glad you said that. It, thanks, I've got a question right. <laughs> you, yeah, you, you won that one. <laughs>